Okay, well, this is granite, or actually, I guess this is nice. Um, high grade metamorphic rock. This is in the Canadian Shield. And hopefully, you can see that it's all cracked up. And on the side of the Trans Canada, so you can hear traffic going by. Those cracks are joints because there's not a whole lot of displacement across uh, the crack. And those cracks exist at depth, way down deep in the, in the earth. And that is how groundwater and, I suppose, the deeper it gets, uh, hydrothermal fluid migrates from place to place within the bedrock. Even in igneous or high-grade metamorphic rock, you can still have a lot of porosity and permeability. Now you might notice there's a green color on these rocks. That green color is epidote. Down here. Maybe you can see this vein right here. I'll just put my hand up there for scale. Can you see that? Um, epidote is a metamorphic um, hydrothermal deposit and it flows in the cracks in the rock with hot water, usually some quartz associated with it as well. But And this stuff, well, it's in the greenstone belt of, uh, of uh, North America, I suppose, of the Canadian Shield. And it's called the greenstone belt because of the green stone. And I suppose the chlorite and the epidote um, are more low-grade metamorphic minerals but they're secondary to the uh, nice. Okay, well, that's it. Just thought I'd show you how fluid migrates in bedrock.